So this is the part two of a recording session. If you haven't seen the part one for this, I'll have it linked in the video description. You don't really need to have seen it, but it just flows really well into this video. This video might seem like it picks up at a weird spot, but with the context of the last video, it does help a little bit. Oh, the air feels suffocating. It must be the right in Chogun's almightiness. We did leave the building. Does that mean we die here instead? Yep, she she's dead. One strike from the Shogun and now Senora is gone. Shouldn't we be running right now? Uh, uh, the tension's a little high her. right now. But Paimon still can't help but feel upset. Yeah, she had it coming, fucker. Why are they doing it? Why are the Harbingers collecting all the notes? Traveler, uh. got a headache? Chin up. Let's get out of this place. Paimon uh, feels unsettled. Are there really quick time events in this cutscene? Also, when the Shogun executed Tenora with the Muso no Hitotachi, it was unbelievably powerful. I don't like that she's the only one who gets to have her signature weapon be a part of this story. Like, Venti's liar was pretty important, I guess, but like, we don't know what bow he had? So, to recap, Yaimiko wants us to go back inside the plane of Euthymia by the statue of the omnipresent god. Oh yeah, she told us to do that too, huh? But we'll be like lambs to the slaughter, won't we? Oh, maybe we could put this plan on hold for a while. <laughs> There's the sound of electro zapping in the air. Paimon can barely breathe. Traveler, are you okay? You're so silent. I don't think having uh, silent protagonists is doing this game any favors anymore, because now we do have a designated role in this story. I don't hear anything. They seem pretty dead from what I can tell. Why else would they be lying on the ground like that? Man, the color filters on this are weird. Hey, guys! Oh, oh. Oh. Ah! Oh, God, she's huge! There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Oh man, he just went for it! Oh snap! Yo! Oh no! Oh no, she has the infinity gauntlets! Oh god damn it, not again. Oh yeah, she's been uh like, so we meet again. meditating or something. Um if you follow the story it makes sense, but it's kind of dumb. Oh, ah oh, shit, here we go again. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Oh, I probably should have switched elements before I started this, shouldn't I? Probably should have gotten rock first. Hardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? Oh? <laughs> 
Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. If so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the vision hunt decree. You know everything that's going on outside. That can't be right. She can't know because they they didn't they they were they didn't tell the full truth on the reports. Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. The vision hunt decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. What you might not realize is that all too often, people have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Ooh. Ooh, all right, she's got Traveling. us there. Your existence is unique in my eyes. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, you are the furthest thing from eternity. So, I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What matters is that I tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf. That's right. Huh. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will, aren't you? Is that what the kids call it these days? Hmm. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. You know what, I guess this video does contain spoilers. Wait, hold- Do you wish to become oh. the enemy of eternity, traveler? Alright. Here we go again. Let's dance. This ends now. Following thunder. Pick this. Yeah, come to think of it, like having electric powers probably yeah. isn't going to help us in this. Um, it's probably not like crazy if I say this because they're they're you kind of already went through this dance the first time. But uh, during the final phase of this fight, uh, only uh, Ether and Lumion can use skills and hypers. But, like, ours won't be able to do any damage here, because uh, she's probably electric-proof. Oh, right, 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 we, re we rehearsed this, we rehearsed this. Okay, that could have been bad. Now, as a Catalyst user, I guess not having access to my skills isn't the worst thing. I, I did use Klee in this fight the last time. All right, okay, game. I, I get it. You know what? I should probably, like, buff up first, come to think of it. It's a good thing I didn't use these earlier, because I've been recording for 24 minutes at this point. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll use that. I will mold you into the foundations of eternity. That really hurt! This ends now. Think you can get away? <laughs> uh, couldn't get a water swirl there. Oh well. Okay, alright. I, I, I think I... I should not try to fight her during her combos. Because it's clear that her combos are pretty long. I shouldn't try to challenge them. I should just wait until the combo ends. And then start attacking again. Oh, here it comes again. A way to turn things around may happen. May yet appear for before those still waiting to resist. Ow. Oh, this means I can't heal, doesn't it? Uh. Lightning flash! Yeah, huh. I wonder what they were talking about there, because I sure don't see it yet. Okay, 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 I get- oh, right, I can't do that yet. Oh? Oh, are we doing this again? 
Or is there a third phase to this? Dear oh, you, right! Aren't you cutting it rather close? Hmm? Miko, this was your doing? <sighs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions. This is a little more sensual than I'd like. Now then, close your eyes. I have no idea what these voices are saying. Maybe they're like ripped from bits of the quest that we've done to get here? I don't know. Hold. Wait. Oh snap. Oh snap, what's going on? Do we get our skills back? Oh boy! Alright, let's move! Admittedly, I am struggling quite a bit with this fight right now, so... Uh, giving me back the skills that I already had at the beginning... Maybe that's not going to... Oh, okay, okay game, okay game. Oh, I have something circling around me. I don't know what that is. Alright, now we got the water swirl. I do still prefer to use overload, but, um, ow. It's a little harder for me to do so now. Um, Aether's skill cooldown is pretty long. Overloads deal fire damage, so they will still help us in the fight, even if the electric damage won't. Alright, that was a good use of that, uh, those iframes. Probably used that a little too close up. There we go. Aw oh, man, we got this fight in the bag, let's go! Just gotta blow them all up. Huh? Think you can get away? Can I get the last hit with Venti here too? Yeah, there we go. You've lost, eh? <sighs> yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Lirith? There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? Ooh! Wrecked! You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen the nation strike forward, 
and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let you know you lost this fight, right? Me. Why is it that form, when Signora loses the duel, uh, she gets murdered, eternity, but when Raiden loses more. the fight, uh, she gets to keep talking about herself for another three minutes? The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. Stand down! When all said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? <laughs> that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change. It does nothing more than simply... exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. <laughs> you mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses, but I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. <sighs> but eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? Uh, for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone. For centuries on end. But it is necessary. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss. But have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely. And yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world, so it can only mean... ...that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? I... Uh, ...have nothing to say to that. Ooh! Rex! <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. Uh, can you not? This video is already over 30 minutes long. Uh, for two fights. <laughs> How long will that take? My thoughts exactly. As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with perfect clarity. Is that a part of the mythos? I was never clued in on that. I know that foxes are apparently supposed to be very cunning. Uh, and also they're assholes and sometimes they eat and or rape people, not necessarily in that order. Uh, is memory supposed to be a part of that? So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. I don't have infinite hard drive space, guys. <sighs> Miko, I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. You're, you're going to stand down, right? Can, can, can we move on? Is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. <laughs> the, the, the audio editing on this, could they have made this a little faster? Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Anyway, now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. Victory! But, with regards to eternity... ...and the question of whether this nation should move forward... ...I need time to give it some thought. <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. 
Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. C could you not say penetrated for this, please? Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. Cat! But some Cat. ambitions. Oh, 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 I'm feeling. Masters, long after the soul ascends. Oh, I'm feeling. Oh, I'm feeling. Oh, oh, this is terrible. In the beginning. Oh, I just felt burning bright and true. <laughs> oh, I'm just, I'm sad now. So much violence. That's what Soulbinder would say. Are, are we done now? Oh, oh. <laughs> well, I blew her up. Is the vision and decree abolished? Yes. Oh, gotcha. I'm always super worried, you know. <laughs> how, how do people still hate Paimon? She's so cute, and she cares so much. So, maybe the reason Yaimiko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us. Let's go find her. Oh, all right. Not like this video is long enough or anything. <sighs> all right, let's talk. Hi, Future Brand Cliff here, and actually, I'm going to split up this video just one more time. And the reason I'm doing that is because it just naturally flowed really well. This entire recording session was like around an hour, and then it was like about 20 minutes to show off my party, do the Signora fight, go through all the talking, and then this video was like 20 minutes to go through all the talking and then fight Raiden and then stuff. So it, it just really lined up to being chopped into thirds really well. Uh, the next video is just going to be about the ending to 2.1 and uh, my reactions to it. And let me tell you, I do not like this arc of the story. And in the next video, we'll be able to talk about why. For now, though, I'm Brancliff. Goodbye, everyone.